everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, also known as Microtransactions, the video game. <laughs> so, what do we have going on in today's episode? Well, as you've probably guessed, and what I've just said is that um, we are back once again. Because bloody yeah, Jam City, God knows who, who, someone higher up who apparently his uh, wallet is not fat enough yet, has decided to add even more things into the game or more incubators for real money that give you Rexy, which is so generous of them. I'm so happy about it. Uh, also, as well, you've got like uh, this incubator, which we'll definitely do. I think I mentioned about this, so we'll do this one first. So we have got. Not only do we have an incubator that you have to buy, I think, for £45, uh, we don't have to. Of course, this is all optional, but let's be honest. If you're not... Well, I, I can't say 100%. Like, if you don't spend money, you won't be good at the game. Uh, because that's not the case. If you've got unlimited time, basically, uh, you can get really good at the game. You go out. You if, you, if you had no job... And you spent all your spare time, or if you did have a job and spent all your spare time playing this game, you'd be really good at it. Really good. Like the best ever. <laughs> but if you're like a normal sane person and you have, you know, a, a duties, and, 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 and there's going to be some people who are getting so triggered by this who are good at it and be like, I have a life as well, you know. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, anyway, the, 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 the fact is, you can't argue with it, this is, this is a pay-to-win game. That's how it is at the moment. Um, and I was thinking to myself, because I saw the comments in the last video, like, Beavers, you were the chosen one. Like, no, you're falling for it, you shouldn't give them money. Look, okay, let me level with you, right? This is how it is, unfortunately. So when Jurassic World, the game first came out, it was a race to see who could get, like, you know, or buy an account or buy a pack, buy something like that to showcase. When Jurassic Park Builder did this, uh, remember that old day fossil game, hey, remember that one? Well, they first put packs into it. You had to buy the packs for real money. And I spent, I don't even want to know, man. It was just so much because I didn't think there was going to be any way to get those dinosaurs unless it was in those packs. Turned out you got them later, but at the time there was no other way. So don't worry. I am well aware that me spending money on this game will be wasted. Not only because dinosaurs will be nerfed eventually, because that's the way Ludia does this. They they make a dinosaur like Rexy, for instance, very good. You know, a couple of months down the line, it'll receive a nerf and that'll be the end of it. And it, it'll never be used. And they'll put another unique creature and, you know, start the whole process all over again. And that's... And that's where the other video comes in. Lydia scammed me out of a thousand pounds. Hey! <laughs> so I'm thinking if I do it this way, right? And they do change it, I can afford to be annoyed, right? It, it must happen to loads of other people. They spend money. And I am saying this openly to Lydia. If you change it now, you know you're scamming. Not only me, but anyone else that is doing this out of their hard-earned money. So, what will it be? Are you gonna do this, you know, the normal thing, which is change it, right? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> also, if there's gonna be any dinosaur in this game that's gonna be good, it should be Rexy, right? It should be. It should be paid to win, but it should be good. So, these are the incubators you have at the moment. So, in a Taurus for 100 pounds almost. And you probably got that max, so you don't need to worry about that. Next one, the Giga Hybrid. I don't know if this thing's any good. Also 100 pounds. This for 45 pounds. But wait for it, here it is, the legendary creatures. Now, I think we've had this in the past where it gave you automatically 200 Rexy DNA. But now, they must be making so much bang on this that they are, oh, they must be, that they keep on putting them out. So they'll put another one out and it'll give you a guaranteed legendary uh, DNA as well as possibility of Rexy. So good news is, because we're, we're going to have to buy two of them. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? It's just how it is. <laughs> uh, good news is, if I do get this, I'm getting the Dreadactylus DNA, which I don't have. Um, I'm getting the uh, Sticky Ankle Lock or whatever it is. The Ankle Sticky whatever, which I need for Anglosaur Lux. The only ones that are wasted, I guess, is Aloe Raptor and Indominus, which I really don't need. So, without further ado, 
Let's waste money! Also, what I will do is I'll keep tabs on how much I've spent, actually, because I've got receipts. So I, I should do that. I, I guessed in the last video, but I will... We should put, I have spent a bit of this much money on the rule of the game. Just rule of life, sorry. Was that about that? Was it books? I mean, meh. It's pretty decent. I mean, you're spending real money. This is something you should never do, really. Unless you really like the game. And I'm, I don't know what I'm the game anymore. Right, so there's a very small chance we'll get Rexy. But you never know. If you were the luckiest person, and every time you open this, open these, I should say, and you got Rexy, you probably have a level 30 Rexy, or you're very close to a level 30 Rexy at this point. Because not only did there are these two incubators, but there is also five other of these incubators you can buy just generally for books out at the moment. So that is at least 15 or 20, probably more than 20 of these. So 20 times 200, you're talking like 10,000? 20, yeah, it should be 4, 4, 4. Anyway, maths. So what will it be? It is a you. It's going to be a couple of luck. <laughs> well, like I said, it's not actually bad because that is towards Ankylosaur looks and it is a dinosaur I use. But <laughs> if I wasn't in the position that I'm in, and basically, the money I make from these videos, I'm just put back into it. <laughs> basically, that's how that's how I can afford this. Because it's just like, well, I make money making videos on the game. So that money I can just put back into the game, I guess. So Lydia win-wins. They get free advertising. And oh, oh, right. Okay, never mind. That's not the incubator. I was like, oh. <laughs> Watch it. It'll be Dranactylus now. What was that I predicted? Oh, it won't be Rexy. And then Rexy came up. It won't be Rexy. It's not going to... You can't convince me. It's not Rexy. It's 100% not Rexy. Not Rexy. It can't be Rexy. What is it? It's not Rexy. It is. <laughs> yeah, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> but I get it. <laughs> so we have also these. So you can buy five of these, which means that you need 2,500 books. And we only have 20, so we can only buy four of them. So we may as well. So we are opening... Oh, my God. Four, five, six. Six of these. And... I mean, the coin you get from it is pit of 5,000 bucks for 1,500 coin. Jog on. But, uh, oh, okay. So, right. So, what are the odds? One, 20%. 20%. And we got two Stiggy Morlock and an Alloraptor. So, that's three so far. And, uh, I mean, I would say law dictates we're deserved we're owed a Rexy, right? Although it's still 20% and never increases in chance. So actually, we're not. <laughs> but what have we say to a Rexy? Rexy. Rexy. Come on. Come on. And the final one. I feel like it's not 20%. It's not. I think it's like a hidden number. Someone should like... Scrub the game and find the real percentage. Because I'm just super unlucky. Two Alloraptors, two of the Indominus Rexes, and a... Well, actually, yeah, that's it. So, I've opened six of them. None were Rexy. Can we get a... Well done. Well done, game. Well done. So that's that wasted. Sweet. But not only do you have all of this... But let's say, like, there's there's some dinosaurs in the game now that are actually really decent. Um, that not being one of them, although I should probably unlock it anyway. Lydia implemented a thing where you could reset boosts. Anyone who plays this game knows what I'm talking about. They're very in high demand, and so far, they've only been available once. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the one. The Thyloconics which is being used by some of the best players in the game. And it's like, oh, it kind of doesn't look like it would be very good. I mean, 25% chance to crit is good. The speed's, I guess, decent. But if you look at its ability, so it has the healing thing. It also has like a crushing prowl, which gives it, you know, loads of perks. But it has a swap in savagery. It has a counter, which basically breaks through any shield and any armor. So this thing is built for taking on Ankylosaur Lux. It just feels like Ankylosaur Lux came into the game and every creature went, no. It's completely resistant to stun. It's resistant to a speed decrease, a vulnerability. And the other two, which are kind of used fairly often, like a rendering and a damage over time, it also has resistance to. But it could, I mean, it's basically, if you're a referentum, 
that's what you need to counter this. So, these new creatures that are coming out of the woodwork, for regular players, you can't really boost it because you need so many resources in order to make it usable. Not only do you need just the DNA to make it, to fuse it, but then you need boosts to make it good. And it's... And coin! For a start, it's... It's just... It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> it's just the cycle of Ludia is... Uh, you've got to get... You've got to commend them for it. They have done an amazing job. So I, can't, I do want to get this thing to a quite a high level. If I could, I'd put this in my team. And I'd put the other Compi Gen, Gen 2 hybrid in my team as well. Um, so level 22... Yeah, we'll probably get a level 23 before we have to start fusing again. I'm not too sure what that what we've got left because I used to dart Marsupialion a fair bit and then I didn't. Oh, we got the perfect amount to get it to level 24. Yes. Also, people might be saying, well, Beaver, it doesn't have to be level 30 to be on your team. And you're right, it doesn't have to be. But it also needs boosts. I don't have that because if you're a regular player, you have your team, your set team, and... If you start taking boosts off them, not only do you lose half of the boosts in just taking them off, but then yeah, there might be maybe it's a low creature. So that it's just like, I wish Ludia wouldn't be as so stingy when it comes to these boost resets. Let us have fun. Let us try different things instead of gatekeeping them behind freaking paywalls and punishing us for experimenting. The only people that do not have a problem with being punished are the top players because they're the ones finishing high in the tournaments because they're able to experiment. They're able to find something that's good like this, boost it to max, put all of the boosts on it, whether they lose half them, doesn't matter because they've got 500 from the skill tournament. Doesn't matter, doesn't make a difference to them. <laughs> but regular players are the ones getting shafted. Sucks really does and i want to prove in a way that this game is pay to win that if i plunge hundreds of thousands god it might be the end <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't take skill it doesn't take dedication it just takes money <laughs> that's all it but no I, of course I, w I would hate to do that but at the same time i'd love to prove it um but anyway we'll do a couple of fuses of this Ooh, that was a lot of 30s so not so bad uh, it looks like i'm gonna run out of baryonyx gen 2 before i'm gonna run out of Marsupial Lion, which is good in a way, because Marsupial Lion, I very rarely bumped into uh, around where I am at the moment, but Baryonyx, I could set up for Giga Scent and probably get Baryonyx. I think I'm in that zone, so we can get it to level 25. Look at it! 4,500. You really want to be over 5,000 health, just to avoid Rexes or anything else, just instantly taking, you know, something faster, or has a priority move and just can kill you instantly. Um, so we probably can do Oh, we could do a five! Hey! We got two 20s! <laughs> Sweet! So, I'm working towards that. That's that's my new goal, is this as well as the other compi. Where are you, compi? Yes, there is that, level 25. This one as well, I was thinking would be pretty decent when it comes to another skill tournament or something like that. Uh, where we can put boosts on it, or whether it's just the level it takes. In fact, actually, there is a skill tournament at the moment, so I'll have a look at that, because I haven't checked it. Uh, but we got another couple of fuses. Ooh, a 50! Okay, but the rest were awful. Sweet. The rest were basically 10s. Um, uh, so I would like to get us to level 20 and then start boosting. But I only have, like, four health boosts, one attack boost, and six speed boosts. Now, again, this game... If you have the books, I just wasted 20,000 bucks on rubbish because I didn't get any Rexy. And I would have rather have bought, you know, all of these boosts. But the game is just like, well, you can get that, but then you can also get this. It is a Oh, it's horrible. I hate the way it's turned into. Anyway, let's have a look at this tournament, shall we? Let's have a look. So, ooh. Ooh. Right, okay, Does, do boosts count? They do count towards this, right. So it's only hybrids. Ooh, interesting, interesting. So if, I mean, I you kind of want to use dinosaurs that are on your team anyway that have boosts. I think Forex actually does have boosts on it, it does. Again, it's just hard for me to take boosts off things because you never know when you're going to need it or it gets a, it gets a, a not a nerf, a boost, that's it, a buff. 
So we'll put you on, because Paratops is used and loved by all. All right, this is the team. It's a lot of the same, but I put in Magnetator as well, because I haven't used that in ages, as well as the other two creatures. So hopefully, we are going to see those things. It's a carnival fairground. Okay, come on. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. It's a regular team. <laughs> Except you, Taronix. Yeah, I think I've only put health boosts on that thing. I guess an opener could be into Taurus. I'm expecting to see a lot of people, like, uh, is it just regular battles? Oh, something with... Ooh, this is like mine. Did he take mine? I think he did. Is it completely immune to rent? Oh, it's not completely immune to rent. Okay. So, what do we think? He's going to go for nullify? I think he's going to go for nullify. I think he might go for attack reduction. If, he, if he's clever, he's went for nullify. I thought so. I thought he would do that. At least then, there's a chance of going through, which he didn't get. But then the rend I do back to him doesn't do anything. So now he's left with a choice. Does he go for his biggest hit and go through and do 4,000? Or does he just nullify my cloak? Well, well played. Well played. He went for the safest option. I would have went for nullify anyway. <laughs> just right off the bat to get rid of the cloak instantly. Um... But hey-ho, here's a cleanse and here... Oh, it's not dead. I thought it would be dead. Well, unfortunately, Paratops is what it is. And it is annoying. And it can basically just come in. Why does it have an attack boost? Is that like a threatened thing? No, why does it have an attack... Like increased attack logo on it? What? Look, you, oh, well, hopefully with the next like patch or update they get they fix that because that makes no sense as well as like referendum stuff Ooh, okay so we're gonna do the most annoying play in the world with paratops which is what i face up against a lot uh where it swaps in does a fair bit of damage to you does a counter heal survives mainly whatever you're gonna chuck at it then goes for its greater group heal and gets rid of its like swap in lock which is brilliant uh now what we could do is go for an attack He's probably going to go for the cloak thing, def uh, definite shield. And you know what? Sod it. I'm going to let him do it. I'm going to let him do it. Don't care. Don't care. If he wants to, I'll give him that. I would I would just rather you know, do, do a hit. I don't like the idea of, oh, it's just so cheesy. <laughs> Swapping in, doing a hit, healing, getting out. So at least this way, I can swap into this. Scorpius Rex, and he's probably going to go for Resilient Strike, which removes my cloak. Um, well, dodge. And speed increase. Oh. It it, it, it hates everything that I am. <laughs> no! Well, I should be faster anyway, I think. Good, good. Okay, so yeah. I'll happily trade a two for one. He can kill my Scorpius Rex. If I can bleed out his Gemini Titan. Yep, that's what I was hoping. And there is this should kill me. I think I've got vulnerability. There we go. Well done. Well played. It's a good one. It's a good play. And there it goes. So we got one medal and I'm on two. So now what do we do? His best bet against my Indotaurus was a Gemini Titan, which isn't the best counter for it. So that bearing in mind, I will put Indotaurus back out to see what he thinks could, could have been worse against it. No, Dennis Max said probably. Yeah, actually, that, that's not very good. He could go for Resilient Strike. If he does, yes, he gets rid of my cloak, but I'm still going to be faster next turn, and I'm just going to hit him with something. So, yeah, he was in the right to actually go for Gemini Titan in that regard. Right, what's he going to do? Oh, yep, yeah, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, does he have something to swap in and do a lot of damage, like a Paratops? Saying that, though, if you've got level 29 or Dennis Max server... Uh, I, you've either been playing for a while and you've stopped leveling it up or you're still playing now and are going for it. It's got boosts on it, so you must still be using it. Okay. Right. You can kill it. That is perfectly fine. And then it depends what this other creature is. So it's 2-2. Two, two. It's a close one. Or is it? I don't know. It would be good to have something that locked in now at this moment, like um, the boa. I think the boa, I think if you swap out, it does damage too. That would have been good. But I'll do this. Utaranex is a good all-rounder. It's got a good attack. It's got a decent... Well, it's got decent attack. It's got decent speed. Decent resistances. Decent crit. 
And against a Dioragosaurus, it's 50-50. It really is. Now, does it cleanse itself when it does a counter? I thought it kind of did. Now, do you get invincibility right off the bat? Uh, no, you don't, but you do get shield. Um... Oh, oh, I think Paratops is going to prove to me why it's really good. Yeah, look at it. Right, he's got his shield. He's thinking, ah, oh, well, well, if you swap into Paratops, because what Paratops do, breaks the shield. Because why? I don't know. It just does. <laughs> and does it go through armor? Yes. Why? I don't know. It just does. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. You hate to see it. But it also feels good when you do it. <laughs> okay, give me, give me the, give me the legendaries. I want the compi. Give me the compi. <gasps> yes, you gave me all of the above. Sweet. Now they have no boosts on them, so I'm not expecting them to stick around for too long. Also expecting to probably lose. Is this the same guy? What? What's he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, what he could do here, I suppose, is go for resilience straight off the bat, and then go for definite shield advantage. But he actually wants to just... Oh, is that a really good play? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. Yes, it's going to get a kill. <laughs> I don't think it has a resistance to the rend. It's been so long since I've faced up against a Gemini Titan. No, it doesn't. And there it goes. Oh, it... one nil up. And it doesn't do much. This might be the same player. Oh, a Forex. Well, that's going to have a lot of attack. And I'm dead in one. Sweet. Uh, right. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You can get level 25. You don't have boosts on it. That happens. And that's the same with Rexy. Like, Rexy's really good, but that happens a lot, unfortunately. So, I think the best bet is actually a Tarbogonathus. Funnily enough. Um, because, do we have anything that goes through? We have a priority, so we may as well go for it. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do, but we get a crit as well. Oh, it's so good. It's level 27. No boosts. What can you do to me? Nothing. That's right. Um, we could go for an evasive here. Uh, or we could go for a big hit. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to die here. I think I'm going to kill it. But I think... Oh, no. No, why? I don't think I do any damage now. <laughs> no. But why? Um, Paratops? Paratops against 5,000 damage? I'm not quicker, unfortunately. I don't think I'm going to survive that. Uh, Paratops, go! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoopee! So, you see, I got to use the two creatures. Oh, he went... Did he just go... Did he just go for a... He went for the cautious cutting rampage. That little bugger you. Okay. Um, right. So what do you think he's going to do here? I think he's just going to go for the rampage and run. He might do. He might do. I think he might go for rampage and run. No, he didn't. He went for the cautious cutting. Well, it's 5,000 damage. Fair enough. Fair. I mean, I did not have a good thing here going <laughs> at all. Even when I get this revenge. 75% chance to block 67%? Is that going to be enough for 25,000? Does it even matter? Didn't even go for it. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we need to do one more. That was awful. The final one. Can you give me any of the legendaries? Or whatever they're called. Oh, you can give me one. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take the one. I'll take the, the Marsupialion one. Another check. Wow, it's definitely a popular opener. I'll give it that. 8,860. Why would you boost its speed, though? Interesting. I mean, you'd probably want to put more health or attack on it, right? Like, just so it can either tank more or do more damage? Oh my god, never mind. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. It's a repeat of last time. In come the Thalaconics. To get a free easy kill. <laughs> and then to die next turn. Sweet. I mean, is there really any need to save Indotaurus? It's probably a bad play on my part, really. Because I could probably 
may Ooh, I don't know what its attack was. Maybe it would just kill me with its instant going through. I don't know. But we can... Can we boost our speed? Increased hits, dodge. Yeah, I don't really know about that, but we'll do this. What's this attack? Oh, it's got no attack boosts on it. What? Oh, okay. Devouring. So we have the counters already. Oh, this thing boosted is lethal. Oh. I mean, it's immune to bleed. But I think I get some health back. 268. Yeah, it's not bad. And then we get to kill it. Oh my god! It killed the Model Rhino. Although saying that, this Model Rhino has no attack boosts on it, and it probably would have killed me otherwise. So uh, yeah, that was it was a weird play to just have a Model Rhino not swap in and do damage, but just to send it in straight away. Oh okay. Yes, Heelys. I could sidestep it, but then I'm not quicker than it. <laughs> Let's do it. Sidestep. Woo. Here we go. What am I going to get? I get a cleanse. I get a cruel hit chance. And I get a dodge. And an attack increase. Oh. Oh, and I survive. So actually the counter does more damage. And it's a crit. Oh. Wait, was that priority? Is that the combo you do? And it's priority. That's what you do with this thing. Oh, that's interesting. I like it. So do you think he's going to go for a big hit or a little one? He's only got a couple. So you know what? I'm going to switch it into Taurus. Just hope he goes for like a small attack. If he, if, Please do. Oh, or it could possibly survive the stun. Uh, no. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, so here we go. It could, you thought it was over. It wasn't. Because now he'll go for a little hit. I think. You think he would have. So here it is. Bam. Oh, 2,000 points. It's just so much damage. It's beautiful. Well done. Well done. And now it's over. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. So 3-1. Happily take that. So not only do we make a video on Jurassic World Alive, but we also... Oh, wait. No, no never mind. It's... It might not be over. I think it is. Because my Megalania can pretty much handle this thing. As long as it doesn't get unlucky with the bleed. But let's be honest. He's going to try and bleed the, the Utaranix anyway. It should be quicker. Let's just be 165. Oh, okay, so we take the uh, take that off. Really, what we should have done is done the regular hit. But we didn't know he was going to switch into that. So here comes the Toxic Quills. Do we get, does he get the stun off? He doesn't. And we have won, basically. Because now we do a bunch of da- Okay. I was going to say we do a bunch of damage. Probably don't get through the block and switch out. But never mind. It's dead. <laughs> oh, well, there you have it. I don't know if that was unlucky from Dino Dad. I'm so sorry. And we have not. You go up, down, up, down. You, you lose, you win. You lose, you win. But good news. Not only do we make a video, but we also got to feed 10 creatures. You hear that, Alliance? Doesn't take long. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later when I lose more money. Bye.